there could be a case where central government on their own may decide that a CL should be granted for a particular patent keeping in mind the national emergency, extreme urgency or for public non-commercial use of the invention. In such cases, the central government may notify that a CL would be granted for a patent. Accordingly, a person interested may approach the controller to obtain CL for this particular patent. Section 92.1, Rule 96, Form 17. Now, in such cases also, usual process would be followed. Section 87, to and fro between the patentee and the applicant. However, during national emergency and extreme urgency, such process may not be followed completely. And when the process is not being followed, the controller is required to notify the patentee at the earliest that the CL will be granted without following the entire process. As the CL is getting granted, while deciding the terms and conditions for the CL, the controller keeps in mind that the patented product should be available to the public at the lowest price and the patentee may obtain a reasonable advantage from the patent. This was the case when central government decided to grant a CL in a patent in India. Let's discuss another use case where another country suffering from public health problems decides to grant a compulsory license for a pharmaceutical product or notifies officially that importation of such a pharmaceutical product from India is allowed. Now you may ask why importation? Why not manufacturing in the country itself? So we are talking about the countries which are categorized as least developed countries which may not have suitable manufacturing environment for manufacturing the pharmaceutical products or may not have the capacity to meet the requirement of the public at large there. In such cases, a person may approach the controller under section 92A.2, rule 96, using the same form 17 for obtaining a compulsory license for manufacturing and exporting of the pharmaceutical product to such a country. Now, when we say pharmaceutical product, these are the products related to the pharmaceutical sectors, including the final product or the ingredients or the diagnostic kits. Each one of these would be considered as pharmaceutical product. Upon receiving such a request from the applicant, controller will grant the CL for exporting the pharmaceutical product. Now, one question that might come to your mind is, how much can be exported and for how long can it be exported? So, there is no guideline for this, but it should be allowed till the other country is facing the public health problems.